Even if you are a beginner in Blender, you probably know how to extrude a face, right? Just go to edit mode, select the face and press E to extrude. Pretty basic. But let me show you all the extrude options in Blender that will certainly speed up your modeling workflow. The first option I'm gonna show is extrude faces along normals. When you choose this option, the extrusion will be locked in to only move along the local normals of the selected mesh. It's especially useful when you want to extrude multiple faces uniformly along their normals, because the regular extrusion moves all the selected faces along the same axis. With extrude faces individually, you can select multiple faces on a mesh and extrude them separately, each along its own normal direction. This creates separate extrusions for each face, resulting in disconnected faces. Extrude Manifold is very similar to the regular extrude option, but it automatically enables the solve orthogonal edges by default. So when you extrude inwards, or in a direction that intersects with a mesh, the tool automatically splits and removes adjacent faces. This makes it ideal for operations like creating holes or modifying geometry without leaving overlapping or unnecessary faces. So this is the regular extrude, and this is the manifold. With extrude repeated, you can specify the amount of repetitions and the distance between each extrusion. The point of view will determine the direction of the extrusion, but you can use this panel to adjust the extrusion as you need. But, to be completely honest, I never use this option. The spin extrusion, on the other hand, is very useful. It extrudes the selected elements rotating around the pivot point so you can easily create objects with rotational symmetry. The pivot point is a 3D cursor, but again you can use this panel to adjust the extrusion as you need. But I often prefer using the spin tool instead of the extrude spin option, because when you use the extrude spin option, the point of view determines the extrusion direction, but the spin tool allows you to specify the axis of the extrusion. And you also have these handles to execute the operation. And, when you do the extrusion, you have the same panel to make the desired changes. With both options, you can also create copies of the selected elements, placing them along a circular path. You can determine the amount of copies using the steps value, and enable use duplicate to keep the original selected elements as separated islands in the mesh. Finally, we've got the Extrude to Cursor option, and to use this option you just need to select the mesh you want to extrude, hold Ctrl and right-click to extrude it directly to the location where you click. There are a few ways to access the Extrude tool in Blender. First, you need to select the mesh you want to extrude, then press E for the regular extrusion, or Alt-E to show all the other options. But you can also access it through the toolbar by pressing and holding the extrude tool, then choosing one of the options. And in this case, you have this handle to execute the operation. And there's also the mesh menu. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.